Okay, so I'm going to try to attempt to explain this add digits problem mathematically. Say that we had a number, any number with multiple digits, and each one of these digits will represent with the letter D. Start with zero, go move on to D1, D2, and so on and so forth, however many digits there are. Now we could represent this number here with our digits by some sort of equation like this. We could say it'd be equal to d0 plus d1 times 10 plus d2 times 100 and so on and so forth. Each one of these digits is going to represent the digits in order while the number here is going to increase by whatever position it is. So here it's like we have one zero, then we have two, then it's going to have three, so on and so forth. Now say that we could actually represent this expanded a little bit. And we know that the nine number is critical here because that's going to be what allows us to know if it's only one digit. So say that we could represent this a little trickier and say, how about D0 plus, instead of 10, we'll say D1 it'll be 9 times 1 plus 1, because that equals 10. And same will we'll say, well, what about D2? We'll say 9 times 11 plus 1, because that's going to equal 100. And we can imagine, instead of using 10, 100, 11, we'll, we'll be adding the number 1 to these digits. So it's like here, it'll be a D3 times 9 times 111 plus 1, which is 1,000, and so on and so forth. So why do this? Well, there's something critical that we could take out here is the 9. And if we simplified this out, the equation would actually end up looking something like this. It would be like D0 plus D1 uh, plus D2, so on and so forth, is what, which is what we're kind of looking for here plus 9, uh, let's see, times the, let's say we start with like D1, it would be uh, D, well D1 would be nothing, but like D2, let's say, would be times 11, plus D3, 111, um, and so on and so forth. Because this plus one we added, we took it out here. So that's nice. And everything else would be nine plus, I hope I got this right, with times one. So it's like, I think D1 is actually in here. D1 plus D2 times 11, D3 times 111, and so on and so forth. So this equation is what gets simplified now what if we modular both of these? Well, something interesting happens. If we modular both of these, whatever is in here, we could get rid of. We modular it, so we're gonna just divide that out. Like that's gonna be gone. And so whatever remains is gonna be this. And interestingly, N modular 9 is equal to the numbers added up. And we were able to figure that out with this kind of complex equation. Now, how would you have known this? How would you figure this out? I don't know. Um, I barely understand it even now as I try to explain it. All I can tell you is this 9 number is, is going to be pretty important for this digital root problem. And we have to remember that there still is an exception here where if the number is a multiple of 9, this actually doesn't end up being true. Uh, or it, it might be, but it's modular 9 of something like 81 would equal 0, right? But that's not true. That can't be because these are all positive numbers. The answer to that is actually 9. So I'm not completely sure how this math works. Um, 
trying to do my best to understand it, but I don't think it's that important to understand the details of it for programming interviews anyway. If you find it interesting, maybe it's something that you could look deeper into. If you can, there are explanations on the internet uh, which are far better than mine, so uh, I recommend looking into that. But if you understand it better, like I'm open to more comments. So yeah, thank you. I uh, hope that it helps a little bit because I definitely need help understanding it myself. So thank you.